Welcome back to Russell Crow and TV, y'all. It's been a minute, but we back. You heard me. I man, I had to take a little break, man. You know, protect my energy. You know what I mean? Preserve my mental health. You know, stay focused, working out, things like that. Kind of stay away from the news just a little bit, man. You know, but just because I wasn't reporting it doesn't mean that it didn't happen. You feel me? But um, I hope y'all did the same. But let's get into the story real quick, man. So, imagine, right? Ladies, you're just tagging along with your homegirl so uh, she can go get her baby from her baby daddy. Um, she want you to come along because she know like they always get into fights and stuff like that, you know? Imagine that, you end up tagging along with your homegirl, you know? She and her BD get into an argument. One thing leads to the next. You get involved, y'all try to flee, and you get shot. It's a messed up story. Let's get into it, man. But, but before we do that, keep in mind it costs zero dollars and zero cents to hit that subscribe button right now. And I even be fair and price match and do the same thing if you hit that like button right now. Yeah. Fulton County, Georgia. Mother's Day weekend. A young Georgia mother was shot to death on Mother's Day weekend while she was helping de-escalate an argument. 23-year-old Selena Dukes, a company of friend to an apartment complex to pick up the friend's infant child from the father. During the transfer of the child, the parents got into a heated argument. Dukes tried to calm them down, but the argument quickly escalated. According to authorities, the father, 33-year-old Dante Gore, went upstairs to his apartment, grabbed the firearm, came downstairs and opened fire on the two ladies while they were running. He ended up shooting Dukes in the back. She died at the scene. She leaves behind a preschool aged daughter. Now the whole crazy thing about this whole story is that last year, 2019, on Father's Day weekend, Selena actually lost her daughter to the hands of the baby's father. He shot the nine month old girl, which was Selena's daughter. Could that be the reason why she got in the car with her friend to go over there to make sure that don't happen or something similar doesn't happen? I don't know. A lot of tears here tonight as more than a hundred hundred of Selena's family and friends got together to celebrate her life that ended so tragically. She was loved. As you can see, everyone out here, she was loved by a lot of people. Um, sweet, nice, a very bubbly person. It was Mother's Day weekend. Selena Dukes and a friend went to this apartment complex in South Fulton to pick up the friend's baby from the child's father. There was an argument, and South Fulton police say 33-year-old Deontay Gore grabbed a gun. And he went back upstairs and came back down with a gun. And they tried to run, and he shot her in the back. Gore is on the run, and Selena's family says he needs to turn himself in. We know who you are. The police know who you are. Just please come forward and turn yourself in. Like, it was a senseless killing. Selena's family is having a hard time dealing with her death. Selena was just 23 years old and had already lost her own child. She died a really senseless death, and we just did this two years ago for her daughter. So, I mean, it's a devastating. Selena's baby was nine months old when she died on Father's Day weekend in 2019. The baby's father is in jail, charged with her death. You know, sitting on her back right there with her baby. And I feel like she's happy because she loved that baby so much. Warrants have been issued for Deontay Gore. I checked with police a few hours ago. They tell me that they've ramped up their search for him, but as of yet, he has not been captured. Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News. All right, ladies. <clears throat> There's a good reason why law enforcement tell us that domestic violence cases, domestic violence cases are the worst, well, one of the worst, or if not the worst phone calls that they have to respond to. And 
that's because there are a lot of emotions usually involved you know so for that reason when they uh response to this kind of situation they do it with caution you know now selena selena was just being a home girl just a home girl from you know neighborhood and she decided to tag along with her friend to go get her baby from the dad more than likely because they know that the relationship is probably abusive you know maybe those two argue and fight all the time so she just wanted to go to make sure the child was okay you know um we got some information that selena lost her child to her baby dad in 2019 so maybe that's the reason why she went you know just to make sure everything was okay and she ended up losing her life you know she leaves another daughter out here you know now this girl the daughter who's out here she's in a bad situation she has no mom and they said she's preschool age <clears throat> so she has no mom she has no dad her little sister is gone so now other family members and relatives have to step up because dad's in prison for killing your baby sister and mom got murdered. You know, trying to de-escalate a domestic violence situation. You know, it's a crazy situation. It's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Um. I mean, can't even fault this young lady on that. You know, she she just, she went to go make sure her friend was good. And, you know, she lost her life in, in that process. Like I said, it's, it's, it's sad. And that dude, man, for you to go upstairs, retrieve a gun for two women, one of whom is your baby's mother, bro. Man, you are the weakest of them all, bro. Couldn't just talk it out, scream it out, punch the wall, nigga, punch the car window, or something. You could, you could pay to get that fixed later on. But you went upstairs, you grabbed a gun, and you actually you took a life. You shot at your baby mama and this and this young lady. You know. It's crazy, man. We live in a different world, y'all. Like I said, the things that we used to do back then, they just don't work now. You know, you know how they used to tell us safety in numbers? I mean, yeah, it's true, man, but nowadays, safety in numbers. And it ain't really like that, because sometimes the, the people that make that number safe, they ought to get you too, you know what I mean? But, uh, all jokes aside, man, this is a crazy situation. Let's talk about it in the comment section, how y'all feel. You no know, more heart go out to that child. She gonna need it, cause right now, she have nothing. And she, even though she's young, trust me, she can feel it. You know, this is a sad case, man. Let's talk about it in the comment section. And hey, I'm, I I really, really encourage everybody, you know, take advantage of crypto, man. If you don't know what crypto is, look it up, cryptocurrency. Y'all take advantage of that, man. There's money to be made in that. Educate yourself on it. You know what I mean? And start investing. You can actually watch your money grow. as to your money just sitting in the bank account and, you know, gaining a few dollars every year. You know, look into crypto, man, for real. But let's chop up this story in the comment section, man. Till next time.